<laughs> Hello, quick shaving tutorial. This is gonna be quick. All right, let's do it. All right, step one, usually this helps, it's to wet your face, or well, just pretty much the areas you need to shave with some nice warm water, not hold water. Hold. Not hot water, doesn't need to be boiling, but you know, it doesn't need to burn you. If, it, if it's too hot, then it's too hot, you know, get warm and cool it down a little. Just just warm water, and you should be good. That just starts it off. So you can't see that. Right, so just kind of wet areas. For me, it's half of my whole face. Then, once that's ready, time to apply shaving cream. Now, most of this stuff you, you can find like at your supermarket, maybe even like a pharmacist or whatever. Most of it is also good to shake it before you use it. Apply as much as you can and just put it where you need to shave pretty much. Again, for me, that's a lot of my face and neck. Alright, now that the shaving cream is applied, again, only apply to the areas that need shaving. Don't do your whole face if you just got stuff here or moustache or whatever. But again, for me, it's half of my face and neck. And I get your razor out. You can, this is a really cheap razor. You can get, I got this like a pack of like eight, I want to say. Really cheap, you can get these most places. And if you don't, if you can't afford one yourself, then I'm sure you probably have a relative that has one. And it's also a good idea to um, wet this with warm water. This, your face and razor with warm water makes it easier to, to all come off. Now pretty much, Here's the difficult part, but not really. So you just gotta go to the skin gently and go down. And with shaving, it's very important to remember, only go down or up. Never to the side, because if you go to the side, it's gonna cut you. And this stuff is literally razor sharp. That's why it's called a razor. So just pretty much shave all the areas that need shaving. And remember, be gentle, okay? You don't need to like, you don't watch out for any hair, head hair that's gonna like get in the way as well. Another good tip. Now, most people will, will say that once you've shaved quite a bit, rinse it off. That is a good idea. Again, use warm water because also a cold razor going across your skin, it's gonna feel, it's just gonna make it harder and it's gonna feel really weird. It might even hurt, okay? So get that out. It also rinses the hair out um, at the moment because. There isn't much hair, but because of what I'm required by my school, I need to shave pretty much every day now. So, still I don't have that much hair on my face, so I can get away with rinsing it usually once or twice per shaving. But, if I grow my beard out on the holidays, then I need to shave, then, then I need to rinse the brush quite often, almost after every stroke, because there's a lot more hair. So you can rinse it accordingly with how much, based with pretty much how much um, how much hair comes off. And you'll you'll probably also get yourself some little cuts around here and there. They're no big deal. I've been shaving for a few years now, and I'm still getting little cuts around the place. It's no big deal. If it if it starts to bleed quite a bit, then like get some tissue with like a meal. God, I'm crouching at the camera. That's bad for my back. If it does get quite a bit. Then get some tissue or toilet paper and just kind of apply it there and let it stick there and kind of drain pretty much. That might take a little while, but it'll work, especially if you haven't shaved in a while, like on the holidays. Um, haven't shaved in two weeks. I once went down here and it was you know, like right there, I reckon, bleeding quite quite a bit. So that that does tend to happen. So again, the Try, try and be gentle, right? And once you reckon you've got everything, again, make sure that you do everything, because if you you might end up with a few stray bits that you've missed around here or there. So just make sure you've got those. Okay, so once you've finished, get some more hot water and splash, or not hot, but warm water, and splash your face with it. Do not, like, do not dip your whole head under water or anything. Do not, like, I mean, jumping in a shower could work, but it's, it's better if you get like this, that way you can dry yourself afterwards. Once you've rinsed off everything, get a towel and just dab your skin with it, right? Don't, don't wipe, because the friction, it's not, it's not good for the skin once after it's been 
run over by a razor blade. So just kind of dab it like this. It doesn't need to be completely dry, just dry enough. <coughs> Sorry, I'm really sick. That's it. Shaving done. A lot of people also apply aftershave, which is um basically cream to stop the skin from hurting, I guess. I'm not really too sure what it does, but it does help. I've used it, but I don't have any here right now, so I, I gotta do that. That was the shaving tutorial. I hope this helped. Please remember... Disclaimer, Jack DeManville is not responsible for any injuries you may sustain while shaving. Thanks for watching.